Welcome to ARPEN's Corporate Biography, where leaders in industry share their knowledge and experiences so that others may learn. This month, we are pleased to present Anita Blanchett. Anita Blanchett is one of the relocation industry's most respected professionals. With over 25 years of experience, she's worked all over the world for some of the largest firms. Today, Anita works with BP, British Petroleum, as their global vendor manager, where she's accountable for thousands of BP employees' relocation needs. In this first of a four-part interview series, we get a chance to get familiar with Anita's background and pose the following questions to her. Uh, my name is Anita Blanchett. Uh, my title at BP is Global Vendor Manager, which really doesn't describe the job. Um, I've been at BP for two years. My role is to look after all of the third-party contracts we have with vendors and also to work on the operational side of the business and to sit within the leadership team of international mobility. I've been in the relocation industry for as long as dirt, um, about 25 years now, yeah, a long time. I originally started out at IBM and then uh, sort of went to a few of the big third-party relocation companies. Longest time was with Curtis um, when they were called Sendant. And I was with them for uh, several different times, but a period of 15 years. What kind of person makes a good relocation specialist? You have to have a certain type of personality to survive in this industry. You've got to like people. You've got to like being in a service industry. Um, and I think people either come in and they are in and out of the industry real quick because they don't like the hours and they don't like the commitment or they're there and they're there for life. What are some important traits that a relocation manager should have? Sense of humour. <laughs> Big sense of humour. <laughs> because some of the things you have to put up with, you know, you just really have to have the ability to laugh. Uh, you have, people are at their most emotive when they're being relocated and it's an incredibly stressful time. Everything in their life is changing and if you're the person who they feel is responsible for that, they won't think twice about phoning you and telling you that you're not doing your job properly, just or that they want more of this or less of that. Um, so you do have to be able to put the phone down and laugh and just break that tension sometimes. Um, a calmness. I think you need to be able to be calm because you are juggling a lot of different balls in the air. You have, and you're dealing with personal people's personal you know, uh, whether it's their bank accounts or their children's education or their, you know, their favourite picture of their granny that they'll never get back again. Everything you're doing is personal to the individual. And you only have to slip up once and that person will scream and shout and come down on you. So you have to keep a calmness about you and know that, you know, okay, there's so many things you have to do today and you're going to get them done and everyone's going to get taken care of and you'll stay there until it gets done. Or you'll make sure that, you know, you can bring somebody in to help you to get that job done. What advice would you give to a person that is new to the relocation industry? Learn from the people around you. Ask questions. Uh, so, so many times... And I, I can say this now because I'm old and I'm, you know, at the, the, the sort of the latter part of my career. So many times you see youngsters come into our, career, our, our industry um, and they come straight from college. And, you know, I remember what that felt like. You, you did feel like you knew everything. And what was these old guys around telling you what it used to be like? What do they know? You know? But uh, now looking back, they knew a lot. And I should have asked a lot more questions and listened a lot more. Because uh, once people leave the industry, they take away, they take with them all of that life experience and all of that um, expertise. So if you were coming in, you'd do wise to hook on to somebody who was at the latter part of their career and just ask them every question you could think of. Did Anita Blanchett have any personal mentors in the industry? I was lucky when I first joined the industry uh, way back. I worked with a gentleman called Steve Abley who's long since left the industry uh, at Carter's. And he was a great guy. He was an accountant by trade. And uh, he, he really did uh, want to have fun when he came to work. He wanted everyone around him to want to come to work. And you know, he used to try and make every day interesting. And, and he was a, a real inspiration to me. 
We would like to thank Anita and BP for giving us a chance to learn from their experiences and their willingness to share this knowledge with our viewers.